Hi family, hi friends, hi food lovers. Hey neighbors, hey community, hey comics. People who like to cook, connect, and kvetch. Thanks so much for joining me for Hot Dish. We have a great show for you today, if you can hear me. Um, we're going to make some really yummy food with a really special guest. And you. you can? Okay, great. We're going to keep talking and keep recording. So I'm going to bring the special guest back. <laughs> Let's welcome her back. She was on hiatus. Janice Rodriguez. Oh, I can hear it. Thank you. Thank you. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. There's a lot. There's a shot. The Barbie tap dancing. I don't know what's I going on. You so Thank much. you. That was hard. Okay. Yeah. Did she confirm that she can hear us? She can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I can hear us on the phone. There's three people watching. Okay. There's three people watching? Three. We love you. I think we're two of them. Keep. <laughs> I think it's like you, me, and then the tech Christine. Person. Okay. Well, we love each other and we love so much. if anyone else is out there listening, watching. Um, okay, so Janice is a talented comedian. She okay. does stand-up comedy all over the city. She produces a show called Las Locus, which is fabulous. We'll talk about that. Um, she is a co-host and co-producer of a very interesting podcast called Defending Indiana. Go on. So neat. Thank you. Seriously. I need to have her wake me up every morning when I'm having... <laughs> I'm like, should I roll back over? And Lauren's like, you have a great podcast. Thank yeah. you. That's all you I have needed. A great life. That's all I needed to get. Yeah. <laughs> and you have your own company. Um, you're just like killing it in life. So Am I? I? Yeah. I'm really happy you're here. It's been a rough 18 months. <laughs> but cool. Thank you. Thank you for time. lifting us up. Yeah. Us. I'm there's many of no, them. there's I'm, me and all my personalities. Oh, totally. Thank Denise. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So I'm so happy you're here. We're gonna yes. make a couple of things that don't go together. <laughs> You're like, but they're tasty and I love them. Yeah, exactly. Same. Okay. So, um, so we'll just tell our guests, we're going to make, um, you say it. Coquito. Coquito. Will you they tell did us? It. You did it. Coquito. Um, <laughs> she's like, is it Coquito? No, you never said that. I'm sorry. I'm no, making, I'm, I, no, I, no, I wanted to say, oh, you know, why? I you wanted wanna... to say Cochito <laughs> because of, cause it could be spelled that way. No, it can't no. be. No, but okay. it's cool. It's, I'm like, no, it can't. No, it's be. And also, I'm like, is that sound right? It's not spelled the way at all. <laughs> also, she's asking like the like whitest Puerto Rican in the city. Oh my To God. be like, I'm from Indiana. Like, I'm just like, what? Well, so you I I say coquito. It's real bad. It's not. But you know, cool. I do it's know. Coquito. I do know. Okay, so we're gonna make that. So okay. that, from what I know, is a Puerto Rican holiday drink. It is. Anything else to add or that we should know about it? I'm, I'm totally putting her on the, Janice yeah, I'm like, know this I know I did, time. <laughs> I tried to Google, I was like, history of Coquito, I'm like, Puerto Ricans love rum and uh, coconuts, I mean, yeah. who does it, I mean, they're delicious together, so, <laughs> delicious, okay, so we're gonna start with that, okay, we're gonna start with our Coquitos, then we're gonna move on to cheese quesadillas, which has nothing to do <laughs> with anything else, nothing. but also <laughs> delicious and tasty, delicious, gooey, delicious, also easy, today was a little bit, a lot for me. I don't know if it was for you. You're like we have a lot of canned goods <laughs> and some shredded cheeses. <laughs> Keep it simple. Yeah, I love it. Oh my god, you're adorable. This okay, so you're gonna be in charge of of this. Um, okay, so Janice, feel free. You can just narrate and tell us what it is you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. No, well, I'm joking. I do know what I'm doing. Okay, kinda. so let me see what the, all the ingredients you got. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. This is exactly what I use. Oh, perfect. Yeah, because some you can make it a couple different ways. So some people use cream of coconut, which just is. Some people use coconut milk. Some people use, ah. um, there's something else. But the cream, the thick one is the way to go. Okay, well, we have the cream. We okay. also have the coconut milk. Awesome. So we have a lot of Oh, cool. Of You're things. just doing a full can. Okay. We're just going to dump it all in. Do you think it will all fit in there, it, in this bowl? Ew. It's going to be tight. Okay, well. Okay, this try. is the dulcet, like, basically sweetened condensed milk. Okay. I don't usually put a full but let's just do it. Let's just listen, guys, if we're going to go out within the diabetic coma, <laughs> this is the way to go. So let's do it. Like, okay. It's, yeah. It's I'm just so sugary. 
Oh, and you use coconut milk. Yeah, you need yeah. both. You need both for okay. sure. Okay. Good. Um, but there's something. Else. Oh, you know what it is? It's called Coco Loco. Oh. Um, if anybody's watching it. Wait, it's is that? Puerto Rican. It's like a squeezable thing, and you put it in there, oh. and you can put that in instead of the cream. Because this is this is milk, but this is cream. Okay. This doesn't look appetizing when it's going in. Just PS. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, we're not going to change the camera <laughs> angle, and my skills are not okay. Usually, um, you have a blender, right? Yeah, we're, okay. yeah. I, was like, um, I don't know why I'm putting it. Okay. This is why I have to do it in batches. <laughs> Me too. Sorry. Okay, yeah, because it's too bit that yeah, this would be too much for a blender. So I would just keep blending it and then um seasoning it, if you will, spicing it. Spice. And then um let me just this is not going as planned already. No, no, I was gonna say I'm like, we need a blend. No, but you know what? So I don't have a blender, but <laughs> I have, oh, I have. Do you have a hand? Do you have an immersion? I have Let's an immersion it. blender. Okay. It looks like a giant vibrator. <laughs> ah! It does. But we can use a giant pan or we can um, no, we'll do, do it in batches like in here. Yeah, we'll so, do that. Um, um, so first it. we'll just get everything in here to get it's the proportions just, in. Um, I really think this is too much, uh, but I don't care. It's, I'm on the edge. It's crazy. It's, look at how delicious that is. Oh my gosh. That's like, you it's, need that for flan. You need that for... Um, you know, just to go on a diabetic coma, like I mentioned, <laughs> you just want to give up on life and just drink this in bed oh my straight God. from the can. Um, it's very thick. It looks like vanilla pudding that Janice is pouring in. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, I'm like yeah. for real. It's like 130 calories for two tablespoons. What? Are you serious? Dude, oh my God. Like we're yeah. going to die. Okay. Yeah. We're going to like bounce off the wall. Well, it's, it's, it's the holidays. good. It'll make us sorry, feel good anyway. Memory. And okay. that's what we need. And that's what we need, right? Make us happy with sugar. <laughs> and also, yourself. like, just make a mess. And it's super messy. It is a yeah. messy thing. When just, I make coquito, I make it like a mess. Who cares? It yeah. It spills everywhere and it's super sticky. Yeah, I want it to be messy. And then um, where are we at with the, okay. yeah, it's usually tablespoon cinnamon. I like a little nutmeg. Oh, I have nutmeg. Um, and you guys can make this virgin, like, oh, look at me. Who am I? Rachel. Tell us. I was going to say Rachel Dredge. It's not who I met. Rachel oh, Ray. Ray. <laughs> I love Rachel's dress, by the way. <laughs> Rachel, I feel like I'm like, oh, but you guys can do this virgin. You could, but why is what I'm saying. I'm sorry, unless you're not drinking, which I Correct. respect. But um, the sugar in the rum, I think, changes it. And then you're using gold, uh -huh. so that changes the flavor. I, um, uh -oh. I no, no, it's good. It's I've good. used gold and I've used silver before. Okay. Um, the gold has yeah. more of that smoky because it's aged. So it's just like oh. whatever you want. This looks so unappetizing. Yeah, it's real lumpy. We've got it's a real, real lumpy. lumpy mixture of weirdness. Okay, so do you have any nutmeg? Um, yeah, oh, so I have out. nutmeg, okay. I have cinnamon, and then See we have vanilla. Like super yeah, just like whatever you want to do. Dude, oh, I yeah. Do you, live on the edge. do you like, yeah, whatever. Okay, so where are we at? Um, Two to four teaspoons, one teaspoon. Okay, yeah, you definitely need vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Okay. Okay, guys, these proportions are just, just do you, like whatever. Can you go wrong? Can anything go wrong? Yeah, sure. Um, okay, we got the word that the tech is working. Go team. Yes. So viewers, viewers. we love you. <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen on Facebook Live. That's exactly. That's and it's like, this is like the, yeah, maybe less nutmeg. Oof, okay, well, live on the edge. Live on the edge. That's what we're all about today is being crazy. Or more. So basically what you do is you... The tr oh. oh, no. But that was beautiful. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say the thing is, um, we're going to try to make this and like maybe have a little bit, but it really needs to be cold. Yeah. So like you're supposed to put it in like over at least overnight, like the colder the better before you actually drink it. You're so So if you're right. thinking about doing it, get your stuff. Actually, I need to do it. I'm that's my gift this year to people. Um, oh, it is. Yeah. What I would emerge. I would leave, I would put the rum in last. And okay. then again, if you want to make it virgin and people aren't drinking, then they can, um, put their own rum okay. if they want. Okay. But do you want to try to blend? Uh, let me try the hand. Okay. So oh, this is going to be great. We can Keep use a big pot or we can let's use do that. This. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. So, um, and then if, gonna spill if you want to like put this in here do you think? and maybe we'll switch spots since, okay. Um, I'm like, or I'm gonna like. Oh no, this is okay. We're gonna splatter it fine. all over. Okay, so nice this place. is like really um, crazy. Yeah. I've never used that. <laughs> <laughs> it seriously is like a giant vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. Okay, hold on. Let's see. The key to this, I believe, I took one cooking glass. Make sure it's under. Wait, I. Oh, yeah, okay. It's so got to be ahead. totally. I feel under. that we should. Yeah, yeah, this probably. Spoon. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen right now. <laughs> is it plugged in? Yeah. Is it working? Oh my god! Why are we having all these problems? 
Well, it's already broken. Wow. Did I do it? Oh, right? maybe it was locked. Oh yeah. You have to press the lock button and the on button. At the same time? Yes. You're so smart. Jess. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> this is it. I didn't want to do it. Did you see what I just did? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Weird. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be messy. Yeah, this is. Sorry, real... so I'm not gonna move it. I'm just. I gotta. Yeah. This is a oh, real experiment. You're good at this, though. I'm looking at the camera. I'm like, it's not bad. <laughs> the key is don't lift this up because it will splatter everywhere. So I've never seen them with the lock, but I I bet that's why. Yeah. Because people press it on accident and then stuff goes and everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, Janice, Actually, is pretty you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Really? See, she's so nice. Yeah. Well, you're my guest. I have to make you right feel good. <laughs> and then later I'll be like, what was she doing? What was she doing? This is like, your tech person is like, Carolyn, she's probably like, oh my God, that's so loud. I'm picking up on the mic. Sorry, we need a blender. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, I would just put in some rum and like call it yeah. a day. So, okay, we've bl- we've done mm-hmm. the immersion blender. I'm going to put some ice in for us. We are- so we're doing like a quick coquito. Let's do that way. We're just going to do a quick coquito, but then I would just tell you if you want to make it, um, do it um let it what do you call it let it sit in the fridge overnight and always put it in glass bottles oh, that's the other thing like yeah. yeah so it's like super cold sorry i'm using this to like try the let me see i just fell over myself <laughs> real attractive <laughs> go feet all over my is it good it is good is but it? you didn't seem convinced i need something okay i don't know what the coquito is so messy it really is it's like the messiest thing it like destroys your counter. It gets everywhere. Oh yeah. Well, that's what we like. Because this is like, oh, who that, cares? That's a let's say, but yeah. Cut. I mean, I don't want it to get on you, but I don't oh, care it's about fine. my house. Um, it needs know? something. I okay. don't know what it is. I think it Maybe might more need cinnamon. more cinnamon. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Here. It okay. needs more cinnamon. What's wrong with cinnamon? Um, so it is, so I'm so excited to try this. And then once we get this situation under control. <laughs> <laughs> that's just be the new name of it. <laughs> Situation not under control. But you tell me this. Do you want to try it with some rum or no? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Do you? Sure. Okay. I don't know. How it much says to... to do a cup for the batch. Is that a lot? That's a lot. Hey, hey, it's Sunday. I don't know. Let's we live, can do living our best lives Maybe here. Maybe we'll start with Let's like... do it with a half. Just for okay. a minute. Because okay. it's going to change the taste because okay. it's like the aged rum. Okay. It's gotcha. Gonna... Sorry. I'm going to make more noise. Yeah. Make more noise. Um, <laughs> I mean, we don't even need to make this in the end. <laughs> <laughs> did it again um i don't even need to make you guys we're just gonna sit here and drink the rest of this uh bacardi gold flask hip flask here oh my god yeah i mean 151 laying around i mean and we'll just like light it on fire on top <laughs> listen i lived in tampa florida for 10 years and there's there's like these bars that sell you know very newer I hate when I say that, but if you've been in New Orleans and you know that, and they yes. put like the other shot like in a test tube. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I'm like 151. So you can really you yeah. If you want to get extra loco with we it. We want to get crazy okay. today. I put that's it what in. We so... Want. Okay, so let's try it. Should we yeah. um taste it or just try just, it? Just try. Let's just pour it. You were be ladling. We're ready. Let's just ladle. Yeah, we can ladle or we can use the um measuring cup. Oh yeah, you're see, you're so good at this. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Wow. I'm, I'm excited really for you. you Wait, do you, you like coconut? Yeah, I do. Okay, sorry. Do you? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. No, I love this, but like, somebody's like, I don't like that. I'm like, do you like coconut? They're like, no. I'm like, well then, duh. Like, duh. like three of the ingredients are coconut. Oh yeah, so, it's all coconut. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, if it's not a flavor profile you like, you wouldn't like it. No. Okay, we're gonna Let's just do make some it more. pretty. Why not? Ooh, oh, look at just, this. We're, we're food styling. Cocktails. Look, we're food we, styling. Yeah, we put ground cinnamon on the top of our cookie. Cheerio. Cheers. There we go. Okay. Okay, you tell me. Delicious. It is delicious. Mm-hmm. Only 10,000 calories per serving. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to lose those holiday pounds. Don't drink this. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. It's quite sweet, but it's very delicious. It is delicious. And actually I'm glad we didn't go crazy with the rum because mm-hmm. now we will be relatively sober for the podcast. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. I think it's okay. great, man. But you see how it has to be really cold? Yes. If not, it is like very rice pudding-y. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Okay. You're like, oh, I'm just drinking rice pudding. And I'm like, <laughs> no, that's why it has to be like super cold. <laughs> so yeah, again, if you don't like rice pudding, if you don't like dulcet, if you don't like those flavors, not for you. Not for you. If you like all of these things, 
and rum for you. For you. Yeah. It's Bienvenidos. For me. And Thank for you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Janice, that was like trial by fire and you passed. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Cool. You did it. Um, I'm really <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> we just have a bowl of cookie dough. That's we- <laughs> hilarious. We're just having a little, hol- a little holiday party. I here. love it. Um, okay. okay. So now, oh my God, we haven't even talked about anything like That's life okay. or you are. <laughs> let's keep, let's- wait, where's that? Where's that Bacardi go? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Lauren? <laughs> It's been a, no, it's cool. We're just going to segue into quesadillas and talk <laughs> about your family and where you grew up and yeah. everything. Okay. You know, we're going to segue. Okay. It's not I a, like a segue. segue. I didn't promise that, but okay. Do you know how to make quesadillas? <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's like, let me invite my one Hispanic friend over and have her represent all the cultures. Um, <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I know how to make quesadillas because I'm American. Okay. This is what I keep trying to tell people. <laughs> to me, Mexican food is, I mean, don't kill me. I love everyone. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like Mexican food is American food. Like, I grew up eating, ta- and everyone's like, oh, Puerto Ricans eat tacos. I'm like, no, Americans eat tacos because they're delicious. Yeah. Thank you. Bienvenidos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, tell me about your family and your okay. background and your Yeah. Background. So yeah. Um, my mom's from Puerto Rico. My dad is New York Rican, as they say, because he was, he was Puerto Rican. He is Puerto Rican but grew up in New York and somehow we end up in Northwest Indiana. Don't ask me. Your mom is, so your mom is from Puerto Rico. Yeah. Grew up born and, raised mm-hmm. and your dad is Puerto Rican, grew up in New York. Exactly. Okay. So, um, you know, that was fun and, uh, somehow ended up in Indiana and that's, that explains so much. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what kind of things did your, did your parents like teach you or infuse into your life growing up? Like, how did it impact you? Like, Let's just say with, with from quesadillas. A food <laughs> How did it impact your ability to make coquito and I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> yeah, my mom's like hit the rum early. <laughs> um, honestly, sorry, mom. I have, she, she's watching because she likes to support myself. She is. She, she might be. Hi. Um, uh, What's her she, name? Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Okay, she, not a strong cook. That's fair, right? <laughs> sorry, she didn't text me yet. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just like a typical American. I grew up like a chef where D. Mm-hmm. like on canned goods I yeah. grew up on canned goods I don't know what to tell you um but honestly we always had rice we always had rice there's always arroz con gandules or um which is rice and pigeon peas um pigeon or okay. yeah and it's like Puerto Rican rice you know with little salchichas with little sausages and I'm like whatever we would have spaghetti oh, yeah. and rice like it was mm-hmm. just like starch heaven um <laughs> so yeah no I mean not a big culinary background <laughs> But just chunky soup and uh you know <laughs> captain soup. crunch you know the, the seas i started oh in the seas yeah. yeah everything that starts with seas tastes amazing it's amazing it's cheese delicious. quesadillas see coquito hey look at this what? dude we're killing we're gonna it. keep drinking here <laughs> keep team. drinking this is just this is all coming together in unexpected ways Please. <laughs> um yeah you grew up around here I grew up in Michigan in Ann Arbor. I knew that. Okay. But I've lived here for 20 years. Okay. Which is a really long time. But Ann Arbor is a college town. So yeah. you probably were exposed to more food. Yes. Like all kinds of different. Yeah, you know, like I didn't eat like honestly, I didn't eat like Thai or Indian or anything until college. Wow. Yeah. Wait, where did you go to college? IU, Indiana. Oh, so yeah. I was in Bloomington. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Again, you're thinking going down to South Indiana, but it's a college town. Mm-hmm. So many, you know, international students oh, okay. and they had everything. Oh yeah. And I'm just like, what is this? Yeah. I've been deprived my whole life. And I gave chunky soup to <laughs> do honestly, like I haven't had like a chunky. Let's do that next. Let's fuck. I know. Let's eat food from our childhood and see if it holds Janice, up. The chunky soup. When that came out when what? we were kids, that was, was like, like revolutionary. Wasn't it? Cause it yeah. actually is pretty good. It was. I mean, I have to say was, cause was. I haven't had it in like 20. Oh my God. Years. Okay. Maybe good. Ep- new episode coming up soon. <laughs> Let's like eat like what about like, you know what honestly holds up? Chef Boyer needed the I ravioli. That. that stuff was so Sorry, good. It was so good. One time in college, I had a can of the Chef Boyer and it was either like the ravioli or the noodle one. Mm. And it had Before kind me. of turned green a oh, little no. bit. And I still ate it because I was so hungry and it still <laughs> tasted so good. I have your mom's like, we would have just sent you money. Why are you doing that? I did, but it happened. You're like, it's- <laughs> might have botulism. <laughs> Let's go for it. No big deal. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. fine. Cool. It's fine. Look at all these antibodies I have now. Right, exactly. <laughs> Strong like bull. All oh right. Oh my God. So, okay. So your, your background prepared mm-hmm. you for this moment, basically, is <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> 
Just kidding. Oh um, my but listen, cheese and bread is delicious. Oh, so okay, delicious. this is our version of um, you know, okay, uh, wait. a grilled cheese made <laughs> with Wonder Bread and you know, craft. It's great. Um, okay, before we start though, how long have you been in Chicago? Um, total, like in between my like Florida years, mm, probably like 10, 12. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I was I graduated college. No, God, I'm gonna tell you the year. I know. And then um <laughs> was here, then went to Tampa for nine, 10 years, and then came back. Wow. About six years ago. Yeah, now. that's a long time in Florida, too. Yeah, yeah. It was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys, love you. I still have great friends there. I'm sure. But it's just, you know. Florida is a, Florida is a whole separate thing. Yeah. I'll probably be back though. I'm gonna tell you, cause I'm not going to be able to take these winters much longer. <laughs> For real. You would live, would you live there again? Yeah. When I'm like 80. Oh, well, like sure. I'm retired. Okay. That's a good life. Totally. Oh, like it's... I'm on the beach, like playing golf. I don't know. Is that what yeah. people do? Yeah. Well, they play ma- Mahjong. Like, exactly. See, you Mahjong. Know. Yeah. I'll start like a little like card shark game. Like yeah. we'll have fun. You can play golf. Why? I mean, why not? Yeah. It's just not a sport I'm interested in, but no, if you want, that's great for you. I'm not interested in it. I just want to drink <laughs> outside. <laughs> I'm like, think I'm getting some steps and being athletic. Yeah. It's like the laziest. Sorry. Okay. Again, I'm going to offend everybody. What you else are. can I do? Everyone... You're making a lot of energy. I know. They're like, golf podcast. is the best. You just don't understand the complexities. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. Okay. So basically we've got our quesadilla ingredients. These are very authentic flour tortillas from Nuevo Leon. Okay. No big deal. It's in Pilsen. Okay. Yeah. I like it. And um, I did get pre-shredded cheese. Okay. Chihuahua and yeah. cheddar. You need Chihuahua. Okay. That's or Chihuahua. the other one. I'm going blank on. Um, it's like a, like a queso fundido. Oh, oh, queso fundido means it's, wow. My Spanish is so bad, like but a, I think it is Chihuahua. Okay. Yeah. It just has to be a real melty cheese because okay. cheddar can be kind of oily. Yes. So we have that. We have tomatoes, um, scallions, cilantro. We can put all okay, of it yeah. in Okay. the um, quesadilla and then um, butter. And then we just put it in the pan. So why don't we, we can make our little quesadillas. Mm-hmm. Fourteen. Okay, let's do it. What are we doing? Okay. This is so gourmet. I can't even believe that. <laughs> now, what I read is that you people are always tempted to overload the quesadillas. You put it in the middle. You put it more on the side, and then flip it over. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I think you're right. I was like, I think you should try to flip it. I think we're gonna do moon shapes. For Go those team. Who are visual um, <laughs> learners, and maybe you're listening right now. We're gonna make it look like a moon in the end. A half a moon. A half a, a moon. moon could also be round. I'm such a moron. Oh, you're putting both. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay, fine. Let's live, oh, yeah. Let's live on the edge. Let's live on the edge. I have both cheeses. Um, and let's live on the edge. <laughs> this is a wild podcast that we have. Here. Right, right. Super. <laughs> I was going to add spinach, but then I was what? like, that is a it's little It's too much, crazy. guys. It's too much. People can't. <laughs> yeah. But, and, I, yeah, I don't know. And nice. It's because it's nice and colorful. Okay, I'm just throwing good. everything on. Okay, good. Me too. Yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with these quesadillas. Um, <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> yeah. As, As we- flames <laughs> shoots from behind us. It's part of the special effects. It's so fun. Oh my God. Okay. I'm so, sorry. I feel wow. like, listen, I have like a little, I'm not Mexican at all, but like okay. I love Mexico. I love Mexican culture. And yeah. I feel like I'm, I might be losing my Mexican credit just, just a little bit here with these i'm sorry to everybody i gotta call my i gotta call my girl jess from las locas i gotta like I, okay i know is this so, gonna be recorded right we're gonna we're gonna oh, post this is recorded it's okay. gonna be all over, all over. it's gonna go viral it's in just, a matter of minutes <laughs> everyone said janice Rodriguez. she's out of here we try to let her in the club janice, this is uh, totally my fault like no i, I think it's like all no i think it's delicious i eat this all day oh but God. i just don't know if this is I, you know, it's the whole flour. Well, I think quesadillas are usually on flour, no, but I've had quesadillas on corn too. And I don't know what people want me to do. I'm so they confused. want you right. to eat flour corn. They quesadillas. want you to. <laughs> Who's they? They, they do. Okay. They, they. So I am just going to tell you that it's been a hard month. Right. And, and is- we need to be kind. <laughs> And not worry about your street cred. Uh, yeah, we don't care. It's all about forgiveness. It's forgiveness, right, right, right. Thank I got you. it. Okay, so I love it. Don't. I'm sorry. I'm so annoying. I keep looking at myself on the screen. No, you're great. It's. And I know there's a delay too on Facebook. So. Oh, who cares? I don't it's even great. think about it anymore. Yeah, we're we're just, we're just doing our own thing. I'm gonna keep. <laughs> as you notice, half this bottle's gone. <laughs> I just I keep sliding off camera to just like pour some. Oh my god. I oh, know this is great. It's it, it's it's. Wonderful. It's, it's so authentic. It's so authentic. 
it's, it's the flavors of Jalisco right here. <laughs> and the I, people are like, oh no, God. honey, stop. I know. no, I, it's honestly, fine. Dude, I'll tear this up. It's delicious. I just don't know. Like, it's fine. Anything. Well, I'll delicious. tell you first okay. that I was going to have us make paella. Then I was going to have us make fried avocado tacos. And then I was like, I am tired. I'm tired. I'm- paella takes like five hours. <laughs> You're like, cool, we'll be back. And you keep like going off. <laughs> okay. Well, good thing I didn't do it. Right. Okay. You know, paella takes like five. No, I don't know how to cook very well. Paella is like the most complicated. <laughs> It's got like shrimp and like <laughs> clams and like calamari. Like, okay. Okay. Well, it's okay. So we didn't, we, we dodged that. It's bullet. a steamed like rice dish. You have to steam it for like hours. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So put your little guy on this. That's what I do. She invites me and then I shame her on her own show. <laughs> okay. So we have everything buttered and ready. It looks like you're doing the right method. I don't know if I am. Okay. Yeah. And then I kind of flip it. Okay. And then you got to like. Get it melty. Okay. And maybe not use your fingers. Just gonna go on. Don't follow <laughs> us for safety tips. Oh, uh, no. Or cleanliness. Like, ah, ah, I don't really. I'm not cleanliness. Sure. Sorry, no, it's very clean. I mean, I already had COVID. I'm- <laughs> this is her whole thing. <laughs> she's like, I already had COVID. I live to tell the tale. Yeah. You can still get like a cold. You can still get other things. Well, you can still burn your finger. <laughs> Just because you survived COVID doesn't mean like natural like things. <laughs> Be careful it with it. It does. It does. It She's does, like, sorry, actually. actually. Okay. Sorry, but, sorry, I didn't sorry, but yes. yes. Sorry, but you're wrong. I can um, do knife <laughs> tricks now. <laughs> Janine. I'm just going to keep drinking. That's fine. Okay, That's good. We're going to move these to the side, but feel we can have another tortilla. These are not complicated. <laughs> okay, you're in charge. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, Janice is now moving to the stove. She is in charge. Oh, what else is new? Let's have a Latina <laughs> start cooking. <laughs> Can we get past these stereotypes, people? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was working on a joke about that because that ver- that is like everyone thinks like every like I think a person can cook, and I was like, you haven't met my mom. <laughs> I said it again. Sorry, <laughs> or me. I'm not really like a strong. Well, you're gonna prove it today. You're well, gonna. I mean, look at that. I just everything fell out. It's just sauteed cilantro everywhere. Yeah, you didn't do the best. Job, I didn't do. But but okay. You've got time to redeem yourself so, with the toppings. Oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah. Just or just to slap them. Yeah. Slap them, yap them. All okay, right. Okay. So, um, so tell us about Las Locas. <laughs> this is the best show ever. <laughs> um, okay, Las Locas comedy. It yeah. is a, a comedy. I'm calling it a collective. Mm-hmm. Um, just because um I don't know. I just feel like once you've done the show. Cause obviously, you know, you used to do the Kate. So I kind of, mm-hmm. um, similar, just like, Hey, just creating community between, um, female identifying comedians. And then just like, especially highlighting, um, Latina and like women of color. So, um, there isn't a lot of us, <laughs> there is in general in Chicago, but not a lot of performers. So we're just, um, uh, you know, trying to get together and like elevate everybody, but then also bring in other people. So last locus always has like an honorary loca or two. And then, um, you know, we're just trying to expand and do like storytelling shows and like bring like, I guess we'll bring the guys in. It's fine. Um, oh, you are. I, I, yeah. I think for one of the shows, not okay. the other one, but just to like, you know, just have everybody. Wow, this is burning. Go team. Um, so, so yeah, it's just a comedy show. It's not just a comedy. It's like, it's probably, I would say the first one that like really highlighted uh, Latinx talent, but primarily female identifying Latinx talent. Mm-hmm. Go team. Yeah. How long has, yeah. Mm. Oh, you're doing a wonderful Go team. Job. I'm like, it smells delicious. Her technique is solid. So it's good now. So, so now that it's melty. Now you can represent. So sorry. It. That was like, I should probably get a better elevator pitch. No, it's but that's it. Go no, team. Okay, I like that idea. The collective. That, yeah. Yeah. I like try. I mean, like, friend. yeah. And try to get people to, to, so sometimes we get like these private gigs and I always go to like those guys first and definitely want to try to grow it. Um, and then I'm, it's great. Cause I think since then, like a lot of people, um, there's been other like improv groups. And it's like, it's cool that I think, I'm not saying we started anything, but it's cool that like, it seemed like a lot of stuff came out at once. Why do I keep doing this? I don't know why. There's a lot of squeezing of, <laughs> of things. It's so no, it's a good thing. Yeah. And creation. There we go. Yeah. There's a lot of squeezing. Yeah. But Lauren um, knows me from a long time. And so um, like, I think it was, that's, what's always cool. I always tell like Kelsey that I was like, Hey, we're talking about Kelsey Huff, previous guest um, that, you know, like it gave people just being with the cakes and everything and her just giving people a push gave like us to like, you know, to produce, right? Mm-hmm. Because you obviously have the other show. That from Kong. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this show. And this. And, and let's this. not forget Killing this. it. Amazing. Killing it. Um, little, I like a Brenner. 
Yeah. Oh. 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 Uh, it's caramelized cheese. It's caramelized. There yeah. we go. Yeah. You might want to take this off. Janice, yeah. Um, I just went a little crazy. No, I did. Cause I'm just I can't talk about the only thing I do. No. But. But today's about forgiveness and I forgive you <laughs> for, <laughs> for burning my gifts. I forgive you. Out. I'll take that one. Okay. No. Are you I, no, I like them crispy no, like no. that. I for feel, real. I feel that. Okay. Well, this is romantic. We made quesadillas and then we swapped. What? Yeah. <laughs> Kind of a big, kind of a big it's deal. Kind of oh, there you go. You have a trivet over there. Okay. So, oh yeah, just put it on the thing. It doesn't matter. Um, she tells me to put it on her like nice Korean counters, and I'm like, no, I go put it on the trivet over there. Oh yeah, I, I don't care. What are you, an animal, Lord? An animal. <laughs> when people come over here, though, they're so conscientious when we're doing this, and I'm like, just make a mess. Who cares? Like, just go crazy, man. I didn't and eat breakfast. Really you see me on buses to eat. Like, I don't even, oh, I don't even know that we're on camera. I'm like, cool. I'm going to, it's been fun. Let me get, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> it's been fun. Thanks. Me... <laughs> no, I'm, she's like I'm sitting there trying to talk to me and like yeah. interview me. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> so anyway, comedy, women, what am I saying? Uh, Latinas, uh, let's go. Okay. Oh my God, please. No, it's great. And we're here to eat. We're here to I'm so... and have fun. So that's what we're doing. I'm just going to keep drinking. We're eating. I'm like talking to the camera. And have fun. Mm-hmm. Having fun. Um, so <laughs> are we having fun? <laughs> I'm having a blast. If I love Lauren. Anyone asks you, you had fun. You're feeling you're having fun. Oh, damn it, <laughs> Janice, I love you. I knew this love would be a good one. I knew I could be more relaxed. With Look at you, see how it keeps. <laughs> She's like telling me about her feelings. Cool. Anyway, can Janice, I give this cheese? Tell me I, more I about have these feelings. I need to tell take you. Them out. You oh know, I survived God. COVID, and so <laughs> since then. <laughs> Uh, sorry i don't know uh, can we laugh about it is it still too soon oh no it's not okay it's, thank it's you so you went through it, it so i'm like can we, oh did it, you have it or no 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 yeah um just yeah just you know a lot of stuff from it from for other people and stuff so yeah it's been tough yeah no it was um i got it from my nephew i kind of knew there was a possibility i was gonna get it but i really wanted to see my family on thanksgiving and okay. they had tested negative but we're still sick and then of course got retested and then we're positive, positive. Ooh, so then a i got false sick. negative yeah it was a false Ooh. negative but you know what it was worth it i guess i don't know if it was worth it but um but I nobody else through, was like, everybody else is okay yeah everyone's okay thankfully um it was just um i love that you just put your nephew on blast <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude your fault bro oh yeah well he's only six oliver hey don't dude watch that's her, don't, watch <laughs> don't watch this is it your really sister's kid time. or your brother's kid it's my sister. your sister's always texting yeah. you right now like why'd you have to say that lauren oh my god you always have to start stuff sorry i don't know your sister that's no weird. he's, he's like a doll he's that's amazing adorable. yeah so that's why it was worth it i got it because <laughs> i wanted to be with him <laughs> I couldn't taste food for 10 days, but I love you, Oliver. Oh my God, I was, um, I'm the best aunt ever. I'm just going to eat this. Yeah, I'm going to eat it too. Go <laughs> I'm going to eat it too. Mm. Well, I talk crap about my nephew. It's fine. Is it good? I'm pretty good. It's cheese and tortillas. Yeah, it's good. It's we, good. We've got to describe it a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, como se dice? Um, How do you it's say queso? masterpiece? Exactly. It's a masterpiece, exactly. <laughs> It's an obra de arte. So, it's a work of art. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mm. it's an obra de arte. Uh huh. I think so. I think mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, please. Oh. I wish we could see the Exquisite comments. Flavors. Everyone's like, please stop talking Spanish. <laughs> You've already lost your Mexican <laughs> card. You're on your way to losing your Puerto Rican card. Oh my god. Well, you know what? Then they can come over here and make <laughs> an authentic meal if they're so yes. special. They are special, you know? and so. I will be here to to taste <laughs> test. <laughs> I don't want to learn. I saw people like want to show me how to do things. I'm like, no, cool. Can your mom just make it for me? Mm-hmm. And like, exactly. That'll put it in a pan. That. Yeah. Can we just yeah. do that? Um. So okay, how long have you had Las Locas going? I feel like it's been a while. It's gonna be five years in February. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah, save the date. February third, we'll be at Laugh Factory for our five year anniversary. Yeah. So and you've been performing there monthly at Laugh Factory. Now? Yeah. Our next show is January sixth. Okay. We're going to do um, a Storm the Capitol reenactment. No, you're not. That'd be funny. Oh. <laughs> I said that at the end of the show because I was like, January 6th. January 6th. I'm like, oh my God, January 6th. No. This is so funny. <laughs> also, Three Kings Day, which is like kind of like the last day you have Coquito. It is. Go. Yeah, because Three Kings Day is very important. Um, what, Puerto yeah, Ricans what and it? a lot of Latinos. Um, I love it. You're like, tell me more about your Christian wish. Yes, tell us. Tell me. <laughs> okay. It was a storm, a starry night, and uh, the Three Kings went to go find Jesus. For real. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands. No, don't do that. I'm just gonna wash- Let's just let okay, it all okay. No, you really don't know like the three kids. I don't know the story. Oh, yeah, tell me. I'm not going to get up. 
the Magi, the three kings. Mm-hmm. You, you know, oh, the, yeah, no, yeah, I they know that story. Okay, okay, cool. The Magi, that's all you have to the say. Same. Was that, does that make sense? It's hard. So anyway, honestly, in a lot of ways, Three Kings Day is, um, it's also very important to Greeks, like Greeks and Orthodox. Because mm-hmm. um, they like do this thing where they throw the cross, well, in Florida, in Tarpon Springs, they like throw the cross and you swim, whoever gets it is like blessed for the year. Okay, that I That's a very know. specific thing. Okay. But, that's, but anyway, it's, I think it's Greek Orthodox, like Serbian Orthodox. Like, so Three Kings Day is a big deal. So that's January 6th. Okay. Also, when the people stormed the camp. Yeah, also when they did that. <laughs> well, go down in infamy. So anyway, that's Christ. our next show. So when you think of uh, Three Kings and... Yeah. This is why I'm not going to be back That's on the show. Great. I'm not allowed to. No, you're going to do things. I'm going to sit and we're going to you're going to do all the things. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you'll drink coke. Like it's a big thing. So in Puerto Rico, I was always mad because we didn't celebrate it in Indiana, and I was like, Mom, and she's like, Where man gets straw? You, you put straw under your bed to feed the camels, mm-hmm. and they give you gifts. So you end up like getting more gifts. And I was like, How do I get that? Oh my God! Did I you we put straw there. No. no, because we're in Indiana and apparently like you don't celebrate it here. Well, you can get strong in Indiana. So it sounds like. Hello, mom. You Do you hear it. this? Hello. <laughs> sounds pretty weak to Listen me. To me. It's Carmen, like... you could have tried harder. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said. She doesn't want to buy gifts oh my again. God. And oh my God. You and dad. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm telling you later. What's wrong with your parents? Well, so many <laughs> <laughs> things. I'm just trying not to give us gifts. Exactly. Well, they're going to be extra this Christmas. You're going to get a lot. Just but see, now I don't want anything. I know. I'm at that it's age. Like, say, we don't care anymore. But I'm like, I don't, I, my brother like called yesterday and was like, what do you want from? I'm like, get me a Shell gas card. Gas is expensive. Like, I don't that's want anything gift. else. I'm trying to like pare down. I'm trying to Marie Kondo. Oh, that's great. I don't even want to do that thing. Does it bring me joy? I'm just like, it's in the way, like burn it. Like, yeah. I don't, it's I don't want to talk about trouble. it anymore. Why are we having these conversations about mm-hmm. inanimate objects? Yeah. Totally. Except for Bacardi Gold. Right. Except for um, our newest sponsor. Yes. Somebody from Bacardi's now. <laughs> I'm winking. Somebody I'll, know somebody. Um, I'll do a hashtag. Exactly. And this is also going to go Just right cook right? with, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just cook with Bacardi everything. <laughs> Even like Thai food. Like, that's cool. Just put a splash in. Oh and everyone's God. like, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> um, okay. So it's going to go viral. <laughs> I don't even, it's so funny when people say that. Like, what does that even mean? mean? It just means a lot of views viral right. like yeah it's like an outbreak i don't it's so weird yeah um oh my god janice okay so you oh have last locus and yes. then you also have your podcast which i want to i'm interested so it's a podcast called defending indiana mm-hmm. and you and colleen brennan do a wonderful job and you have really impressive interesting guests on yeah that's all colleen um it's her brainchild and i always want to say that because she came to me with the idea um we're both from indiana I'm currently living in chicago um, and, uh, she's had this idea about just kind of trying to change perceptions of like how people think of it. And this is me I'm making fun of, I can make fun of it. So the whole thing is that we can make fun of it because we live there and lived there and grew up there and have a certain sensibility. Um, but we're even seeing as we're doing the show, we're like, we're just like reminiscing about like, oh, that divide between even the North and South of Indiana. Hmm. And so we want to try to like expand more because sometimes just being from the Northern part of the state, particularly the region, we're like, oh, does, you know, we're just so more, much more Chicagoans than like Indianapolis, you know what I mean? So, um, and we think differently. So we just want to do a better job of trying to even change our minds. I think about the rest of the state, because mm-hmm. sometimes I'll like <laughs> do a voice and I'll like do this total sub and I'm like, I'm doing it again. And I'm just talking about somebody from Indianapolis where some of my dearest friends from college are from, mm-hmm. they hate me. Um, <laughs> so we would always have like, they're like, oh, you're from, Indi-, you know, you're from up there by the, and I'm like, yeah, by the big gorgeous city of Chicago. Like, I don't know. It was just, it was just weird, but I guess it still happens today where there's like just kind of this divide because you're like either a Bears fan or a Colts fan. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. stupid stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Is it stupid though? No, it's exactly. Stupid. It's not stupid. <laughs> People, <laughs> you important. know, um, but yeah, but it, dude, we have had some awesome guests on and I, Colleen is like the most confident person. I'm always like, yeah, I'm so sure we're going to get Angelo Pizzo, the screenwriter and producer and director of um, he likes to be called a filmmaker of Rudy and Hoosiers. That's we'll get him on like our second episode. Oh, we did. You did. Yeah, I know. That's not we. Amazing. Colleen did <laughs> through her connections and whatever. And then we just started like thinking like, oh, I guess I know a lot of people that have a lot of, and we just started calling people and we've been able to get on like, if we, we, we think of the subject matter, we're like, let's get the best person that can speak to it. Mm-hmm. And um, I've learned a lot. I apparently have lived in a, I lived in the Chicagoland bubble. So I don't know a lot actually about the rest of the state, but mm-hmm. technically I'm born and raised in Indiana, but it's, to me, it's a suburb of Chicago yeah. where I'm from. So it's like, that's interesting, but people from Chicago don't say that. 
They're yeah. like, you're from Indiana. But I'm like, hey, you, if you accept Schomburg, you have to accept Ham in Indiana. Sorry. No, that's a good Like point. you have to. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, are you, you're from Ham? Yeah. And she's, she's from, from Michigan City. Long Beach. Oh. Yeah. Well, Michigan Long Beach, City. which is the, well, you know, Long, but, but most yeah. people don't. So it's Michigan City. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a yeah, yeah. smaller, um, like beach community right over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right over there. I'm right pointing. There. You know, Just... here's the lake. It's right over here. <laughs> Everyone's like, what lake? Michigan. Um, no, but the podcast is so, so impressive. Like, how do you, I'm just interested in that process mm-hmm. because clearly I have like a super professional cooking podcast, <laughs> dude, just like you guys have Rachel a super Ray has nothing on you. podcast. No, but seriously, Why like, Rachel Ray, who else, who else is out there? Why do you keep referencing one cook? Um, there's like a million people. There's that pioneer woman who I don't like. Um, sorry, pioneer woman. I do really like you. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Sager. Yes, I'm like not a fan. Um, so I'm so sorry. I should be kind to everybody. It's forgiveness month. Mm-hmm. I, Pioneer woman, I forgive, I forgive you, you for anything that you've done to annoy for me. For using <laughs> cast iron for everything. <laughs> She's like, I got one pan. I'll just do everything in here. <laughs> you can't stand it. Sorry. Um, no, but how, like, what is your process like for the podcast when you mm-hmm. have a, a big guest on? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you guys prepare for that? Especially since there's two of you and you, I imagine you have to coordinate. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I think we each, we each do our own research, kind of just share links and stuff that we're, we're seeing like in a, I mean, to get this specific, like in a Google doc and we're like mm-hmm. going through Then we have like a pre-production meeting. Okay. And then, um, you know, we record our part. What we've been doing lately is recording our part like right before we record the interview because mm-hmm. then even we'll stay on afterwards. And I'm like, oh, this, this is an interesting part. Let's like record something about that. Okay. And then she just does a really amazing job editing it. So Her cool. son breaks it. I mean, does the physical editing, but she's listening and like writing, stop at one third thing, you know, wow. do that. And I'm like, cause sometimes we'll just go off on tangents and then some cool stuff will come out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, or sometimes like we've had some guests where it's like, I'm trying to get the conversation to go like kind of this way. And then it kind of goes another way or, we don't kind of make the point we were trying to make. So mm-hmm. then we'll do that more like an R one on one. It's just, it's just tough. You know how it is. Yeah. Well, do you, um, mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> if like, the conversation is going in another direction, do you try to bring it back or are you like, let's just have this mm-hmm. organic and let it flow? Oh no. I think we let it flow for as long as we can. Okay. And then we try to, and one thing will hop up, you know, like to another thing. Oh my God. We're the tangent Queens. We wanted to change the, <laughs> We're like, oh, like right now we'll just be talking. I'm like, oh, I love that painting. Like, we'll just talk about that painting for the next like 30 minutes. And I'm like, what does that have to do with quesadillas and coquito? Nothing, but it's fun. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we'll do that to the point where, you know, it still makes sense for like what we're trying to talk about. Mm-hmm. But I think we, we both do a good job of, you know, then her like jumping in and saying, oh, hey, da, da, da. like she's just, we're both, I think we're both really good at that yeah. and trying to like kind of get it back on track. But sometimes you, you can't. And sometimes you're just like, all right, where does this episode go? And that's then we'll, we'll come back and listen to it again and be like, all right, we need to redo our, like our part. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cause we basically have like our conversation, then the interview. And then, you know, sometimes we've done a interview at the, like a conversation at the end or whatever. Yeah. Or we've just gone back and we recorded the front or we like, so she had more material to work with to edit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's so impressive. It's so professional. Oh my God. Get out. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's amazing. Seriously. Let's um, do it. Listen to it. Yeah, <laughs> listen to it. For sure. You guys have, you have uh, like thousands of downloads. It's so Yeah, impressive. we just hit 3,500 downloads. Oh my God. Apparently that's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Cool. I have like 35 views total for like 14 videos. <laughs> She's like, no, I've been on the air for 25 years. <laughs> Two people have watched. It's serious. Oh man. I love it. Um, Janice, this is so fun. But like when you said you just get the best person, like yeah. when I thought of today's meal, I was like, who's the best person I can invite over <laughs> to represent this coquitos and cheese quesadillas Johnny <laughs> yeah I'm honored. Oh God, so honored. Like, yeah um I'm gonna check the time okay we have a few more minutes okay okay I'm gonna ask you something super awkward I love it yeah <laughs> it's like how's your pooping <laughs> how's your fiber awkward. intake <laughs> Um, so when I looked on your website, I thought it was so interesting mm-hmm. how you described yourself as I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but basically child as a childless, not as a child, sorry, as a childless, sometimes negligent, 
wife or worse. negligent wife, reluctant daughter, <laughs> um, and friend or neg- sorry, something like that. Negligent friend and reluctant. No, I think negligent daughter. wife. Something for sure. Okay. I'm the worst. So, so you strung together all these things, yeah. and you're just how horrible like, I am. Basically, like I'm a mess, which isn't true. Number one. <laughs> You're not a mess. Thank you. You're not a mess. No. Um, but what I'm so curious about is like, even when you put out like your, your childless, yeah. like, do you, is that something you talk about on stage or not? Oh yeah. Like all the time. Is it? Yeah. What do you say? Um, like, oh, kids are gross. Yeah. Yeah. I, do. I, I say the same thing. <laughs> but not, what's your, wait, Oliver? Yeah. But, yeah, Oliver but not Oliver. You're a doll. And I You gave everybody COVID, but we love <laughs> Your sister's like, I don't like that. No, Jeez. no, I, I don't like that Janice oh, girl. No. I'm just joking. We love I you. bet you guys are the best. Yeah. Um, no, I do talk about it a lot because especially culturally, there's tons of stereotypes about the virility of you know Latino men and the reproductive nature of Latino women. Horrible. Mm-hmm. Just like, and then obviously we're similar ages, and it's just like, what do you mean you're not having kids? It's just like the most foreign concept that we could actually decide not to. Yes. Um, and so it's just something. But usually most, it depends on the crowd. Like I just did the show and I, I did the jokes and it was, I make it more about, I make it more about how there's also this thing where people say, if you don't have kids, nobody will take care of you when you're older. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure you've heard some of that stuff, but over the years I've kind of expanded. So my mom was actually at the show I just did. And it's just the mom stuff about how I'm not going to take care of my mom. That's funny. But like, I'm not getting the <laughs> claps about not having kids as I do in Chicago. If the crowd's younger, they're like, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, we're going to have a population dip because these kids are not trying to have kids at all. Yeah. Like I thought it was so avant-garde of us to be like, oh, I will not have children. But this younger generation, like they really don't want to have kids. Yeah, it's interesting. And um, and they're very like, yeah. And I'm like, damn. And then there's like one or two parents and they're like, we're gonna sneak out of here. Like, um, so yeah, it's it's interesting because I've just seen that kind of um flip. But I love kids, they just weren't for me. Yeah. I love that didn't sound convincing at all. <laughs> uh, kids are great. Kids are amazing. Uh, why did my voice get so high pitched? <laughs> No, I, I wanted to be the cool aunt, but most people are like, yeah, you know, we can tell you don't like her. Oh, it's not no. that. I like it when they're um like six, seven, like that probably, probably Oliver's cool, right? Yeah. Oliver's yeah. Amazing. Like babies freak me out and toddlers. I'm like, ah, like once if you can poop on your own, like we're cool. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll be so like, I'll get on the floor. I'll play with you. We're like, we're doing all this, all the things. Yeah. But are you like comfortable now mm-hmm. just saying like, I don't want kids? Oh yeah. I've been yeah. comfortable for years. Okay. See, I feel like I've just become comfortable really? in the last like year or two Ooh. actually saying it because I've been so like kind of in my head about it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so and and I do get questions and I'm yeah. sure you do too. Mm-hmm. And it's not, it's still like, I guess it's more common now, but yeah. it's still, it's still people still question they, they give do. a lot of questions. Right. You also, know? which are totally inappropriate, by yeah. the way. Like, well, ha- have you just not met the right person? Aren't because it doesn't need a follow-up like no, it's first like, you shouldn't ask in the first place unless yeah. you want to talk about it well right but i and think people are really they're too much into women's bodies that's so true but go ahead I didn't yeah no yeah. no i i mean it's just like also like isn't that what women do i mean what kind of question is that that it's it's a huge thing to just say I've heard that. i've been called selfish you have the you'll change your mind you don't know what you'll you're missing your you're like, i'm just like you'll regret it you'll regret it you really will and i'm yeah. like go on like I just but before it would really upset me mm-hmm. and at about but about 35 I was like oh yeah that, that we're not doing this stuff. and are you and your husband mm-hmm. have you always been on the same page yeah about that? always yeah. Okay. and we even like had a talk like a couple years ago and then even like recently and I just turned 43 and I think it was like me it's too. probably way yeah. too late anyway but then I was like had just one last like talk I'm like hey if we're doing this we gotta jump on the you know train mm-hmm. and, and you both like, said I don't know like <laughs> yeah he was like He's got like a beard in his hand. He's watching. He's like, what? No, I don't want to. I'm like, good. High five. Just wanted to check in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that would be the worst, you know? Like somebody oh, yes. five years later is like, I really want kids. I'm like, what? You know? So that's it. We were like, always oh, checking in with each other. Yeah. No, that's good. That's and that was a big conversation decision. before we got married. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to change my mind. So if you really want kids, because he's such a like good dude. And like, I feel bad. Like I feel, but he doesn't, he really doesn't want them. But he's like, he's so good with kids. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not. Mm-hmm. But he is. And so I was like, are you sure? Wow, this took a this turn. Yeah. Let's I just, talk about my ovulation. What's next? <laughs> no, I just I really wanted to talk about yeah. that because like when it when I saw it on your website, it really jumped out mm-hmm. at me. And it's something you and I have talked about like a For couple sure. times. Yeah. And and we are the same age and mm-hmm. yada yada. But um, 
But it's just so interesting to me. Like I saw this website or this project. It's mm-hmm. called We Are Child Free. Ooh. Um, it was featured in the New York. That's how I learned about it in the New York Times. Okay. And it's this woman who lives abroad who started this um, group. And she features mm-hmm. all these different women who don't obviously want to have kids for all different reasons. Mm-hmm. And they share their stories mm-hmm. and they, but it's, I just thought it was so powerful and kind of empowering right. because it is something that people really just kind of look at you like, really? You don't right. like that? What's wrong? Yeah. What's wrong with you? you? Like, especially cause you're like a successful person. And so, which is also super judgmental, but there's always that thing of like, but you're married and you guys are, you guys have a house. Like, like that, therefore we should just reproduce. Yeah. Because we have like certain material things in place. Like, it's bizarre. Yeah. But people, I mean, that's how people grow up. Yeah. Like we just thought you'd be such a great mom. You did you really? I, well, everyone did you think says that? that too. Yeah. That's yeah. an interesting, who's going to be like, you would be, be a horrible mom. Who's yeah. really going to tell you the truth? Yeah. I was like, really? You don't know me that well. It's not, not a good scene in the mornings. Yeah. No. You know what? Honestly, I, I have another joke about this. I need sleep. Mm-hmm. And I just saw my friends go through it and they're like, yeah, you go through it, but in a couple of years, it'll be fine. And I was like, no, I really thought that I would crack up. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's, it's okay. I just don't think it's like a good thing for my like body or mental. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, and not it- body in terms of like, I don't want to gain weight just like in general, just, I just didn't think it was. Well, it's a huge lifestyle change. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's I huge. Suffer. We're talking about another human being. I'm yeah. Right. But seriously, we're like, it's a lifestyle. Sometimes people are like, why don't you want to have kids? And I'm like, I like my life. Is it? Yeah. Period. As is. Yeah. Like, right. And that's cool. You know, so would you be um, such a good mom? <laughs> oh my God. No, I wouldn't. Just You're going to regret it. <laughs> we should. Oh my God. We should make t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. So I just wanted to kind of sneak in that real light topic. Hey, super child free. What else? Oh, yeah, exactly. Coquito. Um, Janice, what? Okay. So what things do you have coming up? Cool. I know you have your show. I'm like hunching over. Tell us about that once again. more. Where are yeah. We? Um, next show for Las Locas Comedy is at Laugh Factory on January 6th. Mm-hmm. We will be doing. <laughs> We're working on it right now. The There's a quick five yeah, insurrection. Three Kings Day. <laughs> yeah. There's a, somehow we're going to hybrid those together. <laughs> and you're going to have coquitos exactly, for everybody. For everybody. And uh, that's the end of the Christmas, you know, the holiday season. Um, yeah, that's the next big thing. And mm-hmm. so find out more information on the website, which is lastlocascomedy.com. You get tickets right through there. And um, yeah, just follow me on the socials. Follow Defending Indiana. Yes. And um, follow Lauren. To the podcast. And make this go viral. Yeah, viral. And, big um, time. Yeah. Big time. Cool. Um, okay, so I'm also going to give a shout out to the Lincoln Lodge and especially Lodge. Christine Ferreira, who is a wonderful producer and has been very patient helping me with all things technological that yes. I don't know how to do. Um, and check out all of the podcasts on Lincoln Lodge, the Lincoln Lodge dot com. And what else? I don't know. And have a really great day. <laughs> We're just going to finish this whole bottle. We're just going to have a cheers and happy cheers. holidays. Happy and holidays, guys. Happy New Year. I might see you next week for um to make cookies. No big deal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I might. I might. I'm scheduled to. So it's been, like I said, it's been a very trying month. So I'm going to try and be back here. Same time with a new guest making cookies. Janice, don't, if you have FOMO, you can come over. <laughs> okay. No big deal. I love cookies. Um, Okay, and we're signing off. We love you. Thank you so much. Bye.